previously on Resident Evil Revelations. Come clean with us, O'Brien. Don't leave anything out. Everything is in perfect order. Enjoy the rest of the celebration of the Queen Dido, darling. Raymond realized that Morgan was not who he seemed. So we set this trap together. The whole Veltro Revival Act. The mountain hideout, the coordination of the ships, all to put heat on Morgan. But I haven't given up yet. They've left us with an ace in the hole. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. The, the whole Chris dummy? Huh. The final queen. Yes, Queen Dido. She's been resting on the ocean floor since that day. Which means we'll find her. The Terra Grigia. Exactly. We have a responsibility to see this mission through. O'Brien out. Exactly. Someone wrote this shit up, but I can't stop playing. I'm too into it. FBC, everybody freeze! I'll put your heads in the air! We're taking this show over. The BSAA is hereby under the direct supervision of the FBC. Clive R. O'Brien, you are under arrest for collaborating with the terrorist organization Veltro. On the surface, he's got the authority. There it is. The remains of Terra Grigia. And the Queen Dido. And all the evidence you could hope for. Approaching drop-off point. <laughs> I guess we're playing Subnautica now. Look out for those Reapers! Only go to a hundred meters. Or you have to watch out for your oxygen. I'll shut up now. That's the Queen Dido. The third queen. Search the sunken ship. Oh, please be at least a little or a lot different than the Zenobia. That would be fantastic. What do we have here? What? We have no weapons. And yet shotgun shells. Oh, take it. No quick turn. Relatively, or at least effectively, infinite oxygen. Oh, and a cutting torch. Which we're just gonna rub in this line like. Okay, yeah. Anyway, Jill's just that cool. It's rather quiet. Our time itself has stopped. The lobs we found on the beach, they came from here. That explains why Morgan cordoned off the area. Ugh. The blobs. How much you want to bet? They're still kicking. Well, I've drawn a line three times. That should do it for the door. 
Ugh. You know, this only... Oh, my goodness. Your guts are the monster. At least he died a human. More or less. I wonder if those corpses on the beach were Veltro. I wonder... It occurs to me now that there's this area in the Queen Zenobia that we weren't able to access, but it was just riddled with... Something's still alive. Careful. You won't be able to fight them off underwater. Hmm. Yeah. You know, something on the Zenobia that we, we stumbled across, it was just a room full of flesh. And, uh... We didn't really see what that was all about. About. Now the Zenobia is on sinking. FBC boy is still there. Any moment now, we're gonna come face to face with the monster. Some kind of monster is gonna be like, Garr! and we're gonna have to probably take a hit because that's how this game does. It puts something in your direct path. If you want to get by it, you just kind of have to grit and bear it. It's an electric lock. I hope the emergency power still works. The wires are all pulled apart. I'll fix them. Okay, I'll see if I can get the power going. Chris stops stroking Jill's head. Jill stops stroking his head, or thigh. Search for power. Alright, well. Isn't that how it always works? Emergency power fixes everything. Why aren't we just fueled by emergency power? Why don't we make everything? Oh, jeez. For fuck's sake, really? Ugh. Okay. That was kind of funny, I will admit. Oh. I think that's the switch over there. Yeah, you know you can tell? It's got all the power. The emergency power has been suckling on all the emergency power. Alright, grenade. You can never remember which button it is right away, but up oh, there we go. Nailed it. Nope! The fuck? Two grenades? It's gonna take two grenades. Ugh. Eat that some more. Wait. Did it not die? I hear something swimming. I think it just stunned it. Oh, shit. Uh, what's through here? Oh, come on. You were just trying to show me. It looks like it's dead. Or it's sleeping. Oh, pulse grenade, thank God. Um. Do I have to backtrack? It looks like it's dead. Yeah, I know, but. I don't know, maybe could we draw some lines over here and get through the wall? <sighs> Round two. Here we go. Nope, that is absolutely not killing it. Oh, here we go. This is the way we're supposed to... Supposed to go. <sighs> Keep them coming, game. I, I will figure it out eventually. What is with the operatic music? Okay, that guy's gonna come around the corner. And then eat Jill whole. Nope! 
No Jill sandwiches today. Whew. There we go. Now we have to retread our path. Okay, on my way back. No, 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 no. You know what? Fuck it. Just go. I'll say. The tyrant and the nemesis got nothing on those boys. Okay, let's move in. Rifle ammo? Just what the doctor ordered. Although, if we're gonna keep this underwater situation going, we're gonna want uh, something resembling. I don't know, a pulse grenade or 20? still air and flat surfaces who's that he hasn't been dead for long really the FBC there's something in his hand. Audio logs. Well now, let's just make sure we're all loaded up because we haven't really had a chance to do that. Voice recorder. Be not a zombie. This is Agent Dario Barioni of the FBC Armed Forces. The time is 1948. I request that this recorder be handed over to General Lansdale. If found by the next team, everyone on my team is dead. Killed by the devil himself. We were unable to retrieve the video log. Our mission has failed. Weltro, they weren't sitting around waiting for death to come to them. When the FBC arrived, they were waiting for us. Even though Terra Grigio was a year ago. Thoughts of revenge. Can't Yikes. That's no bueno for anyone. It sounded like something came for him. If this situation's taught me anything, it's body armor does nothing. Well, actually, for Conan O'Brien, it seemed to work out pretty good. He got shot and just kind of sloughed it off. It's the Queen Zenobia, but just, you know, shittier. Oh, good. Turn off the lights. After all these years. Only now. Ow. I was supposed to waste a shot on you, wasn't I? Alright, well, you can just stay dead there, please, and thank you. Now, that's the thing about spelunking old dead ships, is that they will creak, crack, and fall apart. Hello, Veltro man. I'll take it. Rifle ammo. Like, sniper rifle? Good God, man, I am loaded. Oh, no. Oh, my God. Someone's been trapped here.
Now we're talking. Hand print found. Hey, I found another one. Come on, Chris. We need to investigate. The spookiness is afoot. Green herb. So this is a nice touch. The bodies have mutated, but stopped mutating? Like this one over here was starting to turn into an ooze pile. But the head is still identifiable. Well, I mean the mask, anyway. I'm using air quotes when I say identifiable. As human, more or less. Oh. <clears throat> Ale Yuri's La Da Vinci Comedia, an offering to the dead. The passage has been underlined. How will the rain maketh them at like unto dogs? One side they make a shelter for the other, oft turning themselves wretched, reprobates. Oh Jesus, Dante Alighieri's La Divina's Comedia Inferno, Canta Four, or is that six? I don't know. It's blank. There's something written on the edge of the page. It's sloppy handwriting. Those who offer their lives to Doctrine forever walk the path with great Jack Norman. Jack Norman? Why didn't you say so? <laughs> it's that guy. Shit. Jack Norman was the head of Veltro. And he has the video we can use to nail Lansdale. Evidence. Oh yeah. But this maybe. Hmm, okay. Oh, it's quite the set or production set. Okay, so I brought out, um, I replaced the, uh, assault rifle with, uh, the Magnum. I get the feeling we're pretty much in the end game, but I want a lot of weapon, or uh, rather, I want a weapon with a lot of firing capacity. This game has shown me that it likes to throw, literally throw things at you, and you can just kind of shoot it out of the air. So I want something for that. Um, I got a sniper rifle for the one hit pow. And I got a shotgun with a charge shot for up close and personal. Let's do this. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. I'll look around real quick. Anything? It was something. Hangar aid. All right. We wouldn't want to leave that behind. Okay, we know about that. Know about all that. And I already took from you. Yeah, okay. Okay, for realsies this time now. Then 
vengeance of God. Oh, how much oughtest thou? By each one to be dreaded, who doth read that which was manifest unto mine eyes. Pape Satan, Pape Satan, Alepe. Hey, buddy. Each one shall find again his dismal tomb, shall reassume his flesh and his own figure, shall hear what through eternity. Oh, I'm sorry, I interrupted you. Morgan! Morgan Lansdale! How dare you cross Veltro! He's not here, man. You had a vial. Morgan, this is what you seek, is it not? <laughs> Indeed, this little machine contains the truth. All oh, the truth needed to bring down your entire charade. Rip. <laughs> Yeah, maybe you shouldn't have dumped uh, virus super juice into your tummy, you know? Norman's PDA. Anyway. This is it. We got the evidence. That's the truth. Let's get out of here before you change form. Stop! Same thing that Director O'Brien has in his desk. I'm gonna go on help record and say that's not very healthy. Hey, not a tyrant. Norman, stop! Morgan isn't here. It's no use. He's gone over the edge. And I feel like he's been there a long time. Well, I wonder how we kill this man. What? Okay, apparently the usual dodging techniques that have worked in the past don't work now. Defeat Morgan. Alright, just hammer the A button. Okay, you know what? You're just a big stompy dude. I got something for that. I can't see now. That was unnecessary. But I see it now. Hmm. Do I want to do anything with you? Uh, distinct possibility. Oh, shooting him in the heart's really effective. Okay, now's not the time to reload. Okay. Uh, 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 uh. I wish I could shoot you out. That'd be cool. If only I had the foresight to bring my magnum for this. That'd be cool. Why am I reloading? I have, like, so many shots loaded and ready to roll. Anyway, that's pretty freaking effective, I got to admit. Alright, shine, shine me up. 
Oh. Ha. Ugh. At least it's not an insta kill. Did I get the right one? I must have. Oh boy. Up, 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 up. I assume I just needed to heal that off. Ugh, come on. Nope. It's just kind of a guessing game now. There doesn't seem to be any visual tell. Oh, you know what? I'm going to guess that's how I tell. Okay, there is a tell. One of them... It's a little on the fuzzy side. Not you. I don't get to know in time. Okay, I think the charge is up. Where? I thought it was dead. Seventy six diminishing returns on this one. You're like a tyrant, but not. You got it, Chris. Just keep pumping shots into him. <sighs> Presumably at some point. He has an audio tell. That still didn't stun him. There we go. Boom. Is that gonna? Nope. Okay. Okay, audio tell helps. I did actually mean to switch off the shotgun. Ugh. You wretch. Can I scan you? I am out of opportunities to scan you. I need some of these to be herbs. Herb? Okay. Chris, he's my herb. Chris? Okay, I need you to move, Chris. 
Oh, I already got it. Okay, 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 okay. You know, for someone who's out of their damn mind, you seem pretty into this fight. Like, you've got tactics, you've got abilities. I'll grant you, you're not very smart. With the. Okay. Maybe don't taunt the final boss. I'm going to assume is the final boss. Five shots. Okay, okay. Okay, I don't have any other healing left to me. Please tell me you seem real. Grenade, do the trick for me. Okay, his heart is just out there now. Dodge, freaking dodge. Okay, I'm pretty sure that would have been the end. That's- this is it. Okay. <sighs> this is it! I actually dodged that one! Come on. Oh, uh, what? He's right over here. That's it. No, Jill's still on her feet. Dodge, Jill! Okay, I'm on to your tricks now. know you were back there. I would love to be able to knock this on his head. Okay, I'm not gonna stand around while he charges his, his laser. Oh, wow. I was really fortuitous to look up right there. Okay, you can go away now. Pretty please. Nope, 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 nope. Can I please shoot you down? No? Okay. Fine, be no fun. Yeah, you can tell this is made with a T-Virus. It comes with its own weak point. That's how you make a T-Virus mutant. Yeah. 
hear that? I don't know. You'll have to ask Wesker in like a year. You. Okay, just dodge this. Nope, that's not the real one. Oh, did you just tank that? You absolutely did. Oh, real one. Suck on that. Okay, Chris didn't seem to care for it very much. Shotgun, take me home. Okay, don't get too close to the final boss. on that grenade. All right, I didn't really do anything to you. Wow, from all the way over there, you dingleberry. You didn't think you were real over there. How did that knock knock you not knock you over? Ugh. Okay, let's get our scan in. Okay, audio is so important in this. How did you DS players do this? Also, a tyrant with invisibility abilities. Who even... Okay, you know what? You're gonna be rude. I'll take my... Okay, don't get too close to the super giant guy. Whoops. Okay, get that, get that. And... We're dodging. Ha! Suck on that. Wow. I'm always impressed when it works. Yeah. Roundhouse kicked. Whoa, 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 In the face. Don't get too close to the final boss. God damn. Always impressed when it works. I got another scan on you. Okay. Oh, he's behind me, isn't he? There he is. That did fucking bub kiss. One more. Still behind me, isn't he? Oh. That stings. 
It makes me feel it. God, you're like a merman tyrant. I can't turn around while I'm charging. This charge power-up has a significant downside. Come on, come on. Fully charged. And boom! Suck on that. Ow. Alright, let's stop taunting the super monster. Nah, I can't stop. You know it. I know it. It can't be done. Okay, that's just mean. You're making the target very hard to hit like that. They like side strafe to get it. Yeah. No. Oh, damn it. Alright, his back heart is starting to, uh, get red. Oh, hi. I probably shouldn't have kept backing up. Because I heard you behind me. Ow. Oh! I just popped your back button. Art, whatever. Done. Everything finished. Finally, I can die. I can die. I'd thank you if you would. And just like that. Velcro is done. No one ever liked Velcro anyway. This is how Morgan treats his friends. Were they friends? I hope he finds more comfort in death than he did in life. Uh, I don't know. I think he's pretty dead. Maybe we should boogie before he gets back up. The means of dispersion? The cruise ship is equipped with a UAV. That is your delivery system. Very well. Now show me the goods. Oh! Bonafide tea abyss. No vaccine? Not yet. Yes, of course. A little bit of this could turn a city inside out. I think we're done. I'll be on my way. Like Raccoon City? Yeah. Who would have thought, yes? That the lowly terrorists would receive a helping hand from the venerable commissioner of the FBC. Evidence. As you can see, it's not likely you'll be wriggling out of this one. I seem to have underestimated the BSAA. And perhaps you as well. We found this in the off-limits area near Terra Grigia. We're done analyzing it, so you can have it back. Director O'Brien, surely you understand our dilemma. Without the Terra Grigia panic, the ignorant masses would be unaware of the threat that lies before them. Yes, you may in fact be correct. No one has the right to detain me. The world required my guidance. It was all for the greater good. 
You're only fooling yourself. You said yourself. Abandon hope, all ye who enter here. But I'm not Dante. And you're not Virgilius. Morgan Lansdale, you are hereby relieved of your position as FPC commissioner. And I'm placing you under arrest on suspicion of conspiring with Veltro in the planning and execution of the Terra Grigia Panic. With all due respect, Director O'Brien, the BSAA is making a huge mistake. Is it? Is it, though? Where have I heard that before? All right. Touche, O'Brien! <laughs> The actual Brian, not the Conan. Oh, bro. anyway. We can finally reveal what happened to Terra Grigia. Yeah, but the cost was high. The BSAA will have to be overhauled. The storm is gone now. But how long will it last? Oh, you know, right up until Resident Evil 5. At that point, well, it's a whole new storm. After Morgan, Morgan Lansdale's arrest, the FPC was dissolved, with the majority of the agents and resources transferred to the BSAA. The BSAA would then be reformed into an anti-bioterrorism organization under the auspicious of the Union, United States. Dun dun dun. Are you jerks still alive? Damn it. Keith, Keith Lumley is now leading figure in BSA's East African branch due to the accomplishments of Valakunun Moki. I don't know. Quick Ketchum, on the other hand, continues to refuse promotion to any leadership position, but he still works for the BSA's main headquarters in the R&D department. Aw, oh, we've got like a... Where are they now? Uh, Parker... I don't know. I don't think we've met that one. Uh, Parker Lucani was found adrift ashore the Republic of Malta in the Mediterranean. After a month of medical treatment, Parker returned to his position as a special operations agent for BSAA's main headquarters. Huh. Funny that we didn't learn who he was. It's okay. Clive O'Brien decided to take responsibility for his actions and step down from his position as head of the BSAA. His sacrifice led to the takedown of Banana Beard, which I think is a pretty solid move. Very respectable. Yeah, you salute that man. His sacrifice is why the world is a better place today. He's currently an advisor to the BSAA and also writing a detective novel from the comfort of his own home. That sounds awesome. Oh, yeah. And as for Jill Valentine and Chris Redfield, they have no idea what horrific fate awaits them. Resident Evil 5. Wow. So that was Resident Evil Revelations. If you've been watching the entire way through, you've heard me give it a lot of shit. And uh, to me, the game's had a lot of ups and downs. It didn't quite know what it wanted to be. Did it want to be a throwback horror to the past? Did it want to be... Um, the new action series from Resident Evil 4, 5, and 6. It, it's kind of this middle child who doesn't know what his identity is. And when I signed up for was the horror parts. And the horror parts were really stand out. A plus material. Like, I wish they pushed that further. But instead, they felt the need that they had to have these railgun sections. I'll admit, railgun sections, uh, or rather, a different style of gameplay helps break up the, the status quo of gameplay. 
and that is appreciated. But they decided to add something to the game that's more action than horror. And then they rolled with more action. Um, horrors of monsters became the norm as opposed to a few deadly and terrifying creatures. Uh, I, I lost count of how many hunters I killed, and in the original, you could probably list them off on two hands, how many hunters there are in total. I don't know that for a fact, but they, they turned something very cool into just uh, a horde mook. Very scary horde mook, but a horde mook. Overall, this game is serviceable and good and entertaining, if nothing else. I give it a lot of shit, but... I did have fun doing it. If anything, the some of the side characters need a lot of work. Um, I don't think any of the women in this game were treated well. Uh, even Jill, the entire time, was sporting cleavage in her like oceanic bodysuit. Um, which, you know, keep cool, whatever, but she's like, you know that's for you or in my benefit, right? It's, we're, we look at her and go, mmm, them titties, so good. And then, uh, Jessica was that to the nth degree. Just everything about her was, I've got sex appeal. You stupid men, I turn you on. Give me what I need. Ugh, yeah. Just re reprehensible game design or character design for Jessica. Uh, the villain, the villain, and even Chief O'Brien, very cool. There's a, plenty of fake outs along the way. Uh, the story, as a whole, overall, still very predictable. But the particulars, the, particu the particulars are what you don't see coming. Anyway, I had a lot of fun with this. I may someday pick up uh, Resident Evil Revelations 2, uh, which I understand is not Jill, but is in, in different characters. But that's one with Barry Burton, and I'm signing up for that. Thank you very much for watching, everyone. And uh, assuming this is it. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Hold on. No, there's more. What do we hear? Jessica, are you reading the alphabet? Almost too easy, wasn't it? The company let them take Morgan out with the trash. Tough world. You file the report on this. And by the way, why save Parker? I have my reasons. The BSAA isn't as useless as I thought. Things could really heat up. Indeed. The fun's just getting started. Conan O'Brien, you little shit. You just gonna leave that virus out in the open? That's how you eliminate a city right there. Cool. Good intrigue at the end there. Custom parts for Charge Shot 3? <laughs> what? Okay, I'll admit, this is one of those things that I do enjoy in a Resident Evil game, is the replay with all the goodies. What have we got? Charge Part, Charge 3? The Hydra? Is that a three-shot shotgun? The fuck? All right, that's... This is a uh, congratulations. You can now use the save data to start a new game with all your equipment intact. Would you like to save clear data? We strongly suggest you save it yourself. Uh, okay. We'll, we'll do exactly that. Neat. Yeah, that's it. Uh, oh my goodness, more outfits. Anyway, wrapping this up. Thank you very much for watching, and until next time, take care.